welcome and thanks for watching my Dragon Force 2 item searching video walkthrough. Just like in the first Dragon Force, the key to finding a lot of the best items is leaving your most intelligent officers in the appropriate castles to search at the beginning of domestic affairs. Now with Dragon Force 2, it's a lot more streamlined, it's a lot more automatic, and it not only saves you time, but you can find more items in this game. So it's a lot more fun to do. And with Dragon Force 2, you can also search caverns and towns as well. And there are certain items that are only going to crop up in specific locations. In caves, you're only going to find mineral ores or crystals. That's the only thing that will turn up. Unless you're fighting in the caves, that's a whole other story. But by stationing a general in the caverns, you're only going to get minerals or crystals, which are used for foraging, which is obviously very helpful. Now, with the towns, towns seem to fork over less items than castles, but you can find some good stuff at the right towns. In castles, you can find just about anything but ores. I've never found a mineral ore in a castle, but crystals I have seen rarely. So we're going to focus on just the best items in this video walkthrough just to give you a good introduction and then some. If you need more details and more in-depth look, feel free to visit me on Game Facts. There's a link in the video description to my official, or I should just say my complete item forging and searching guide. It goes over every item that I've found, the best places to find them, and only the good stuff. I don't waste your time with the banded crests and knives, things that aren't worth your time or attention. Okay, so let's get to it. Let's look at some of the best items here, starting with the Astea statues. You always want those. Kale Castle, where I actually have my ruler of this play the green station at. Excellent source of Astea statues, as well as Ceres is another castle. Tarai. Silver and gray, they don't probably frequently, but you can still find them there on occasion. It doesn't have to have a high intelligence general or two there, and again, you want their intelligence to be at least 70, preferably the 80s or higher, and there are items you can give them to boost their intelligence too. So, you want to amass a lot of generals in this game, and for no other reason than to station the castles with good items to be found. Howl's about is a, another good source of the state of statues, not the best, but they do pop up. With the exception of a ring, any of the moon palace capsules from Lasant to Lone Orange to Pawaro. You can find Astea statues there. One of the better castles is Shuji. I find a lot of Astea statues there. And one of the best castles before the end game is Alta. I say that before the end game because at that point you have access to a lot of new castles. And a lot of these new castles are phenomenal sources of Astea statues. By the end of the game, you can just stock up on them, get people up to 70, 80 MP, just as high as you want to go, really. Any castle here that starts with a G, for the most part, are good sources. Olvo and Adana are the best sources for Astea statues. Station four or five generals there, and you will just amass a stockpile. Because if you station multiple generals in the same castle, they're each capable of finding one item on a single domestic affairs turn. So, just keep that in mind. So another good item is the dragon statues, obviously. And those can be found fairly frequently. Oh, before I go to that, there's actually a town that I found you can find Astea statues every so often, and that is Harakaiden, which is between Eleanor and Yoraka. So I usually have one person stationed there. Now with towns and caverns, I usually only station one general there because you tend to find less items there. Usually castles, I'll put as many as I can. Okay, now dragon statues, we can find those at, checking my list here, ring castle here, brown, we also can find them at olives, and good old Cordero, and I believe over here, way over here, Andaria and Where's Rosso? Rosso, where I don't have anybody right now because you can only get your HP up to 127, so dragon statues are not as useful as some other things. And the last castle is Richun. Richun, 
not really sure how to say that, but next item is dragon scales, which you find in villages only so far that I've found. I found them in Sicily. I've found them in uh, I have the town names, I'm trying to remember where they are. Horus, which is right here. You can find dragon statues in Horus. Oh no, excuse me, excuse me. I'm looking at dragon scales. I get mixed up. You can find dragon scales in Horus. And also Merrick and Merrily. I remember where Merrily is. That's way over here. Wait, no, not there. It's there. Northeast, all the way northeast. Merrily. I don't remember where Merrick is. Where is Merrick? <laughs> I'm gonna pause it actually so I don't make this moment and have to be just a moment. Alright, thanks for waiting. I found it. Here is Merrick, next to, or not far from the sealed desert tower. Okay, now, if I can keep these dragon items straight. Dragon statues. You can find dragon statues also at Fura Village, which isn't surprising if you've played this game before. And Seko, which I believe is north of there. Yep, there's Seko. And uh, Faith Coins, again, you can refer to the Game Facts guide for that. Faith Coins are not really that useful. Generals are not too keen to defect unless you give them really good reason. So, those are the really big items, the rare items. If you ever need Astea Herbs, if you have a tendency to be reckless and get a lot of your generals injured, you might actually want to have a stockpile of those. And there's two places that I've found that are really good for those as far as castles. That would be Saraaka and Bianco, which is in Fundaria. I remember that. Bianco is right here. One village I found, you can collect them as well. Corellia, which is possibly over here as well. Yes, Corellia, between Topaz and Fundaria. Another good source of Ostea herbs. Or Ostea herbs. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ostea. That sounds good right now. That sounds right. As far as crests, there are a lot of good places to find a lot of crests. I'm just gonna say right off the top. If you like Birdman as much as I do, send somebody to Kuba. A lot of Birdman pop up there. Also, brown and gray in Tradden are good sources of Birdman crests. As far as Falcon crests, they pop up a lot of places. Eleanor, Kale, Krail, Kanuka, Naratare, Lakwa, all this Richard Shuju. They don't pop up that frequently though, from what I can tell. If you want ghosts though, early on ghost crests, I find that they pop up very frequently at Wodan. And also I believe a good weapon is here, the Holy Rod I think, which is the best rod, arguably. Not arguably, it is the best rod. Those can both be found at Wodan, I'm pretty sure, going off of memory here. And you can't find any dragon crests by searching, you have to get them as a prize in cave battles. So you'll have to go to that guy to get those. Some of the other good crests as well. Uh, give me just a moment to see if there's anything else worth going over, maybe certain items. Now crystals. There are a couple of crystals that pop up in certain castles very frequently, but only in certain castles. Like say if you're trying to build a stockpile of dark crystals, the best castle to find is Brochet. A lot of good dark crystals there. Also for villages, again, Flora Village, which is to the southwest, a good source of dark crystals on a cave. The caves are always a good source of crystals and mineral ores. It's random for the most part. If you need light crystals to four specific items, Corridan Castle is an excellent source of light crystals. Just stockpile fast. And also, if you remember, Harakaiden Village is a good source of light crystals, as well as, what was it, Astea statues, I believe. If you want power crystals, again, Herelia Village, which was between Topaz and Pandaria, you can find power crystals there. And one of the Topaz castles, I believe, was a good source of thunder crystals. Yes, Richard, which was your starting point as Shin, excellent source of thunder crystals. And 
for magic crystals, you can find those at Quodon or Cordero, which is the southernmost castle in both that we've already looked at. Here. Uh, I don't want this video to get too long. There are some other items you might be interested in to find. Again, I refer you to the game facts guide listed in the video description. There will be an uh, item for the video to go with this, which I will be uploading in the days to come. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Take care.